you know, uh, I know you started out as a roadie. I believe you did road management. How much yes. does road managers work make? Um, who in today's because game? They're not. They're not. Know, they're not. They're not uh, getting a percentage. No, road manager don't get a percentage. Road manager, thousand, fifteen hundred a week, depending if the artist can afford that. But a small road manager might be five hundred a week. If you're a small artist and you're only making X amount, it kind of fluctuates on the on the road manager's experience, the budget or the size of artist that he's working with. Um, those two factors will kind of affect where you are. Like, be honest, the only reason I got a $3,500 a month is because I found out somebody else that I knew was doing it and he wasn't nowhere as good as me. So the next person that offered me a job, I was like, I need $3,500 a month. And they was like, okay. And I was like, okay. And I took the $3,500 a month. <laughs> so <laughs> that was it. At the time, I was like, damn, maybe I should ask for five. That's real talk. You, you know... You work with so many different artists, and um, you you just said something that um, I think all artists and all managers need to listen to. Everybody want to be Drake, but not everybody's even capable or willing of doing the work that Drake, Jay Z, Kanye, Beyonce, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, all, all of these mega stars have done. W- what are some of the common traits that you see? in artists that just go to the moon. Artists that, that you know, because it can't just be talent. It's gotta be something else there that makes these artists bigger than all of their peers, but more important, have that longevity. So honestly, I think there are a couple of different things that some artists do. First, you, gotta, you have to be able to define what type of artist you're dealing with. I learned this a long time ago. You have entertainers, and then you have like you have singers or talent, a different type of talent. Like so, you have singers who just because they're natural raw talent can get on the stage every night and sing, and people will pay to hear them sing. They're not great performers. There's nothing next but their vocals and the sound of their voice and what they sing about. It makes them valuable and talented. They can tour whenever. Then you have entertainers who the singing is just okay, but their performances, they're going to give you everything else. Like their performances are going to be top notch. Their wardrobe is going to be right. or They're going to be on top of like, like the, making sure that you get the experience and that you love them from that. And they're so good at that. You might overlook that. They're not the best vocalists or whatever. And then you have stars. Stars are a different breed. The easiest measurement that I've ever that I've followed, and I learned it from LA Reed. This is like early too in my career. I learned it, and I've been following this now for almost 30 years. A star changes the energy when they enter a room. No difference much about it. When a star enters the room, even maybe even before they're a star, when they enter the room, you know they've entered the room. Perfect example the dream walks in the room tomorrow. Anywhere in the world, no one's going to know. No disrespect to Dream. One of the most talented writers, great talent, can sing the whole night, but he's not a star. Chris Brown can walk in the room tomorrow, and you can feel the star energy. You can feel, Nick Cannon comes in the room, you can feel the star energy. Stars change the energy of a room. What I had with Outcast, which was great, was that Big Boy and Dre are stars. Their stars shine differently, but they're both stars. That's what helped them as a group. But some artists are just stars on their own. And that's and people love to be around stars. People want to work with stars. They want to they want to be in awe of stars. And when you're a manager, when you have a star, you gotta you 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 don't you need to think the world is yours. You can do whatever. There's nothing you can't do. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times people just don't know what the difference is. Sometimes in today's world, I think that's gotten lost. I think 
people replace a million followers and think somebody's a star. That's not, that's not the case. What you are is popular on social media. Sweetie, popular on social media. Can't sell out a room on tour. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, it's very real. There's a bunch of artists out here that got 400,000 followers, but can do a 30 city tour and sell it out. Maybe not arenas, but the right size venue because they got their 400,000 fans want to be in the room with them when they hit that city. You got artists on social media now, three, four, five million followers on Instagram and stuff like that. They couldn't pull up a bar. People are interested in seeing what you're doing in their box and on their phone and stuff, but they're interested enough to buy a ticket and want to go and see what you perform, music or whatever. That to me is, is kind of the difference of where we are today. We're not making stars today. We're producing, we're really focused on selling singles. We don't care about the artists anymore. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.